Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have the Pokemon Shuffle events for this week, beginning with a high speed challenge. It is a time stage, so don't go into it using moves like I have done in the past. Uh, luckily I didn't do it um, in this one, you know, usually, or not usually, but sometimes I go into a time stage thinking it's a move, a move based stage and you know, it takes me a couple seconds to realize it. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, we have Tornadus in its Therian form, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, just setting up the shot out matches. Uh, this one shouldn't be too bad if you have at least one burst damage user. Like any of the shot abilities should be good, but even if you don't have like shot out a block shot or rock shot or barrier shot you know if you don't have those even like risk taker should be able to handle it uh something that you have maxed out that's super effective uh just one thing uh, i i i could see uh tackling this stage doesn't have uh the most hp in the world uh if you're not really great at time stages it could be a little bit unfortunate but um yeah i don't know i don't think it's that bad so that is tornadoes uh cool to have it back i guess it has risk taker so you know not really that good uh, by the way, guys, I have a really bad uh, cold, so, you know, if if I sound a little bit hoarse, uh, that's why, that's why, uh, you know, I'm starting to lose my voice. I didn't lose it fully, so I was able to record the videos, but anyway... Uh, let's jump into the next one, Glissiopod. Once upon a time, this was an ultra challenge. Now, I don't think they changed anything about the stage. I remember this stage. I remem remember it had loads of barriers, except it had an enormous amount of HP. Enormous when it was an ultra challenge. You know, one of the worst of the worst. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's technically possible itemless even as an ultra challenge with this team, but, uh, yeah, it's just very, very difficult and I would not, uh, try the ultra challenge, uh, Itemless, you know, I, I would have used items on this had it still been an ultra challenge, but um, either way, it's a great challenge now. So going in with, uh, yeah, the fire team with uh, Mega Houndoom, a good way to go. Uh, this ice is really annoying. It keeps on disrupting with it. I mean, even as a great challenge, it's still annoying to have all this ice, you know, because you're not going to get the combos until Mega Houndoom Mega evolves and you get rid of the ice. So, you know, if you want... To move that ice uh, faster, you could go in with like Mega Deonsi, uh, that Mega Evolves in one turn instead of Houndoom if you have that because you will get it online much quicker. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can do that or you can go in with like, uh, I guess like a Barrier Bash plus Pokemon or something if you really don't have these powerhouse teams. I could see this being a little bit different. Like it doesn't have a lot of HP, but I could see it being a little bit difficult if you don't have uh, some of these... Pokemon like the the ice mega that destroys all the ice just because yeah just because this ice is so annoying so uh you're not really gonna get the combos unfortunately so uh could still be unfortunate could still be tough could still be tricky uh even though it's not an ultra challenge but um an attack power should get you it whichever way you look at it um anyway let's jump into Rabambi Rabambi is uh not a difficult one it doesn't have a lot of HP. I think it's around 11, 12,000. I could be wrong. I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, not a lot of HP. The problem with Rabambi is that it has a very low catch. I remember this one. It has a 1% base catch. Uh, and the moves left didn't really get me up a lot, uh, when I did it originally. So you might have to go into this a few times if you don't get lucky on the Pokeball. Uh, I mean, it's not a good Pokemon, so if you're not into collecting them all, you could skip it in theory, I guess. But, yeah, yeah, if you want to catch them all, I would say keep on going in, uh, you know, I mean, I wouldn't use Great Balls on this stage just because, unless if you get a super catch, just because you're going to waste a lot of Great Balls because it's, it's probably not going to stay in at like, you know, a 25% or 30% uh, Great Ball catch rate, so unless if they buffed the catch rate, which I'm assuming they didn't, but, um, you never know if, if they did, let me know, let me know if you got a different catch rate, uh, and yeah, so, uh, either way, that is Rabambi. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry about that, that guys. I've been coughing a lot uh past couple of days. Anyway, yeah. It has Paralyzed Plus. Not a good ability. Very low activation, even at skill level 5. So it's not worth it. It's not worth using. I would uh, not use that even if you want to catch it. I'm not saying don't catch it because, you know, I'm a completionist. So you guys might be a completionist. Uh, but, uh, so go ahead and catch it, but anyway, just jumping into Alola Ninetales with the same team, you know, I played this stage a lot, obviously, because I farmed it, so I, I remember the stage, um, yeah, but I just decided to jump into, to, with the same team, not the best team, Mega, uh, Metagross, Shiny Mega Metagross is not the best Pokemon, I mean, you want, uh, Mega Eggman would definitely be better, uh, Shiny Mega Charizard X, you know, um, uh, 
Mega Pinsa, uh, any of those tappers that Mega Evolve quick just so you can get rid of these blocks. Uh, I just went in with the same team because I didn't feel like optimizing. Uh, have, have you ever done that, guys? Just going into the same team uh, just because you didn't feel like uh, searching through your Pokemon uh, or whatnot. Anyway, so... Yeah, it's just a uh, standard uh, steel team. Not really having much luck, as I said, because there's really no way on my team to destroy these blocks and this ice and the rocks. But I figured I could, I could uh, still handle it if I got, like, you know, a nose diver two or for a risk taker or even, like, a hammering streak. I figured I'd be able to uh, beat a lower nine tails because it's not good. Now, this is definitely the best Pokemon this week to farm in my opinion um, I'm sure in most most but everybody's opinion who plays this game uh, so if you haven't if you could beat it itemless uh, I would definitely farm it because freeze plus is amazing at skill level 5 at skill level 4 or 5 so I would get it up as high as you can now you only have a week so it might be stretching it to get it to level 5 but I would I would say at the minimum 3 if you can but yeah that's a little in the nine tails awesome Pokemon we're moving on to winking Delcaddy. Now, this is the only brand new Pokemon of the week. We've, we have Delcaddy, but we've never had Winking Delcaddy. So, um, it costs 300 coins to play, and it's really not a difficult stage. I guess it kind of has a little bit of bulk. Uh, it's not too bad, but, you know, if you don't have some of the, the burst damage uses in, in, for fighting types, I guess it could be a little bit tough. Uh, yeah, but, you know, the way to go would be like a shot out and buzz wall and, uh, you know, Pokemon like that, uh, Hammer and Shake, obviously good if you, ha if you happen to have Shiny Halucha, but, uh, really not a difficult stage. You could go in even with neutral burst damage users if you have to, and it might take you a little bit longer than, uh, than me, you know, than I, what I happen to do. But, uh, it's definitely, uh, not really a difficult stage. Doesn't have a whole lot of, of HP. So, uh, yeah, not really bulky for the amount of moves, uh, you have available. So what am I saying? You have plenty of moves to be uh, able to beat this one. You know, if you are really early onto the game, it's gonna be tough. A lot of the great challenges are tough if you're early, early onto the game. You know, for me, it definitely was. So I totally understand if you disagree and you think it's hard because of that. That's totally cool. But anyway, as I said, it's a new Pokemon. We get it up to a 50% base catch, so it actually has a good catch if you finish it with a decent amount of moves left. Unfortunately, not going to be able to catch it, but I did decide to go ahead and throw the Great Ball because you do have a max percent chance. Now, if you're not doing anything else this week in terms of Pokemon Shuffle, uh, just keep going in. Uh, it's 300 coins. Uh, you could catch it on a 50%. You don't have to waste the 2,500 coins, but for me, I decided to do it. Uh, and so that's Winky Delcaddy, and it does have Shot Out, so I, as you know, Shot Out is good. You know, in my discussion videos, I've mentioned that it's kind of underwhelming because we have a normal type Shot Out user, which is stronger, and normal isn't that great to begin with, so it's probably one that you probably won't use, unless if you don't have any other Shot Out users, but, um, yeah, anyway, going in with a plus five on Tapu Bulu, it is an ultra challenge. This stage is incredibly tough, uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it, um, you know, I could have done this one itemless. This is definitely possible itemless, but I decided to use the plus five because I didn't want to uh, continue to use two hearts, assuming I lost, you know, I didn't want to spend all the hearts. So I just went ahead and threw on that plus five and was able to beat it. Uh, yeah, I totally rec uh, recommend the Mega Winking Glarely if it's fully maxed up. Uh, block Shot is good to get rid of some of this, uh, some of these blocks until you have Mega uh, winking gladly up and running because this is um, an ultra challenge and it's a tough one at that so uh, these blocks definitely get annoying and the rocks so you know last ditch effort always good final effort would be good um, Infernape has final effort now unfortunately it's not available so you probably don't have it I don't have it uh, but I probably will farm it when it's available but anyway that's for another video I think that's coming soon Infernape actually but anyway yeah, this is Tapu Bulu, so it really doesn't have the most HP in the world. Well, not for an Ultra Challenge, right? I mean, we've had Beware, which had a lot more. We've had um, um, Como O, Galistiopod, which are now great challenges, but they were Ultra Challenges at one point in time, and they had a lot more HP than Tapu Bulu. So, uh, not the, the worst Ultra Challenge in the world, but it definitely is uh, a tough one, so I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat it. Uh, if you're able, if you're like in an endgame play and you're able to beat this item list, uh, it's, it's worth farming typeless combo. I'm not saying you should definitely do it, but it is worth farming it because type, typeless combo is good. You'll have another typeless combo added to your team, so I'm not going to farm it, but it definitely is a good option and a 
good way to go. Yeah, so um, just uh, waiting until I have a uh, last-ditch effort uh, available. Yeah, I do have the four match of last-ditch effort, but I wanted to make sure I made a match, you know, towards the top so I didn't, like, combo and lose the, the four match of last-ditch effort because I wanted that, that to go off uh, so I could do extra damage to it. So, uh, yeah, eventually, at some point in time, I decided to go. I think uh, I think it was for the Shaman Sky on top. Uh, yeah, there we go, Shaman Sky. Uh, luckily, not uh, messing up the four match. So we do get the four match. Don't knock it out, but that's fine. Um, I did not skill swap mine because I'm not going to be uh, farming it. But, you know, if you want to farm it, obviously, 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 uh, skill swap it. So, yeah, so this is type of Bulu. Just about beat it. Uh, so I guess I did need that plus five. I don't know. It is possible itemless though, but it really is tough, guys. Uh, so, you know, it, it also has a very low catch rate like all the other Island Guardian Pokemon. So if you feel like you can't beat it, um, or, uh, quick, I guess, even if you use items, maybe it's worth skipping just because you don't want to waste all those items and not catch it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's totally up to you, but that is Tapa Bulu. Its original abil ability is Block Smash plus plus. So that's actually good as well. So you could, Pick a choose. Uh, if you're not going to farm typeless combo, just keep it to block smash plus plus. Um, anyway, we're moving on to the final stage. Frillish, this is once a day. You know that. Ever since they started these automated events, I've been having several Frillish uh, videos. I do have several Frillish videos. And um, yeah, just bring um, Frillish with you and that will cause an automatic match which matches up. Uh, which uh, puts coins on the field. That's the only way to do it if you bring fr Frillish. So I totally recommend, uh, recommend bringing Frillish every single time. I was going to go for the three match. I decided to chance it and go set up the four match. Uh, Could have comboed and knocked it out, but I didn't. So able to get the four match. 300 coins, really nice. Uh, so no reason not to play this every single day. You're guaranteed one heart. You spend one heart. And then you get 200 coins for beating it. And additional coins on top of that. Uh, because you, you're gonna bring Foolish with you, and you have a chance at a red gift, which is a mega speed up, which is what I luckily got. So, uh, you definitely have to play this every single day. There's no reason not to, uh, unless you just don't feel like, uh, playing shuffle, uh, for whatever reason, uh, for the day, then I guess, you know, you're not gonna play it. But, uh, that is Foolish, and that is the final stage of, uh, this, this batch. Uh, we do have the competition coming out soon. Um, yeah, I will have that video coming out soon, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!